Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm just gonna be talking about some business stuff and uh, mainly talking about just marketing, how to market yourself, especially um, coming up in the new year in 2021 and some stuff I've learned in 2020. I thought it'd be a lot more entertaining for you guys to watch me go crazy on Call of Duty and any other games that I have time to play in my free time. So thought this would be a lot more entertaining than you just watching me sit at my desk talking about this stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. Enjoy the gameplay. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you've got any value out of this. Share it with someone as well. And um, if you have any topics, questions that you want me to cover, feel free to drop those below or shoot me a DM on Instagram and let me know what you want me to cover next. Um, so yeah, I just want to go over the most important keys to marketing yourself and your business in 2021 based off the things that I've learned, not just this past year, but years prior since I've started my business. Because at the end of the day, how you market yourself and how you market your business is one of the few things that you can control. How much time you can spend marketing and getting better at marketing and doing all that good stuff to grow your business. Um, if you're not good at sales and marketing, you pretty much can't do anything. Um, those are the two really important skills to learn. So. First thing I wanna to touch on is kind of the different ways you can do business. Um, a little bit more traditional, but you know, most people will say, hey, business to business, B2B, B2C, business to consumer, and those are kind of the two routes you can go. You can either be advertising, marketing, and having your ideal clients be consumers or other businesses, depending on kind of what you do. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, I really don't like to follow this principle because that can be changed quite a bit on a few different factors. Whether you're a business selling to another business, you're a person selling to another person, and whether you're a business selling to a consumer, for the most part, you are a business seller, you're a person selling to another person as well. It's all people to people, so P to P. Um, it's never, you know, it's, it's always people interacting with other people, which is really important to know. So you really gotta understand kind of the psychology behind people in order to market and sell to them correctly. And it all comes down to building trust. People aren't going to buy from you. People aren't going to invest in you. People aren't going to, you know, listen to what you have to say unless they trust you. So building that no like, and trust factor is really important. So <clears throat> just to break that, break that down, no one's going to trust you until they can know and like you. And you've got to get someone to be able to know, like, and then trust you as fast as you possibly can in a totally ethical way, faster than, you know, other businesses do. That's what's going to make you stand out. That's what's going to make you win. And results can definitely help with that. Um, results only go so far. You know, if you've said, hey, I've helped X amount of businesses achieve these things, that's great. That kind of stuff can totally help. But what I found that works really well is success stories and testimonials, especially if you've been in business. Having those testimonials and success stories is really key just to get people to kind of know you. Um, and in tandem with that is just giving people value. So if you want people to get to know you, give people value, just give, give, give. Don't expect or ask for anything in return. Just give, put your name out there. Um, when, and when you're giving, you want people to start to understand like who you are, what your business does, um, and all that good stuff. So when you're giving, make sure you have some stuff in there with, you know, hey, here's what we do, here's how we do it, here's our mission, here's our vision, here are our principles. Um, and then give them value, of course, because when you give them value and a ton of unconditional value without expecting anything in return, you're going to start to get some really, really good feedback from people. And then when you start to give and pair that with testimonials or results that you've gotten from people and other people saying, hey, like I've gotten these results with from working with these people, this business, this person, that's going to be really, really powerful. So that's the first thing. Testimonials paired, testimonials and results paired with um, being able to give a ton of value unconditionally. That's the first thing that I'd really recommend to do. Second is when you're putting yourself out there and giving, 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 you wanna make sure to get people to like you that you give in certain ways and in different ways. So you can start giving value to people, you can start helping people solve some problems for free, whether that's a YouTube video, whether it's posting on social media, building up an email list and giving them value, whatever it is, that's great. But everyone has their kind of own love language of marketing. So if you are, if you're marketing to people 
and you're only emailing them, for example, you're only messaging them on Instagram or whatever it is, if that's the only thing you're doing, you're gonna miss out some people that maybe really love to be texted or really love to be emailed or messaged on Instagram or maybe they just love to watch your videos. So it's really important to figure out the different love languages and appeal to all those love languages of the people that you're marketing to. So that's really, really important. Um, from there, you also gotta think about in-person, building that no like and trust factor and online. And I know right now with everything going on, a lot of it is online, but you wanna kind of fuse things together as much as you can. And so I guess especially now where there's not as many in-person interactions going on, you really wanna focus on, okay, in-person being more like live, sitting down with someone, helping them solve an issue. You know, you're spending your time with them actively solving an issue. Um, online, I'd say is just, you know, say you put up a video, say you give them a PDF document, um, you've already spent time making that resource for them and you can just give it away. That's kind of online, I'd say, um, especially now. So being sure to focus on those two different things is really important. So whether you're a huge company, small, medium size, whatever it is, I'd really recommend to take some time out and do some live Q and A's with people. If you can give you, say you start building up your social media presence, you're giving a ton of value to people, you're giving, 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 and you're making sure you really focus on your unique mechanism, which I'll touch on briefly as we round out this video. Um, as you're giving to them and giving them those resources and value, <clears throat> really just invite people to a live Q&A session on Zoom. Even if it's like five, 10 minutes, it's gonna be better than nothing. You can then record that and use that as like an online quote unquote um, resource that you can give to people. And finally, to get people to know, like, and trust you, build up your marketing, especially in 2021, you have to build in and explain really clearly what your unique mechanism is to people. Um, unique mechanism is not as complicated as some people make it seem out, as I thought a unique mechanism was. You just need to have something and approach it differently than what other people usually do. So... Um, what I would recommend to do, whatever product or service you sell, whatever the outcome is that you're selling to people, I'd recommend going and just doing a little bit of research and seeing, is anyone else doing this? How are they doing it? How is it received by their customers, by the community and all that good stuff? That's what I'd check out. And then also what really, what really helps me out is looking at, okay, back a hundred years, was someone trying to solve this problem in a different way? And if so, how are they doing it? Because most of the time, they'll, they'll try to solve the same problem, say with like confidence, if you're trying to help people gain confidence, they'll try to solve that same problem, but in a really different way. So with that being said, I hope this stuff helped. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning, if you have any questions that you want me to answer or any topics you want me to cover, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. I crushed people because I'm a beast and I will talk to you guys in the next one.